Welcome to the show. It's Ralph Oppel. It's been a while since I've done one of these episodes, about five years, just under five years. It's got to be a new record. Let's cue the music. Welcome to the show. It's Ralph Apple. It's been almost five years since I've done Cue the Music. Uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with the show, it started back in 2007. And over the course of like a year or two, I did 14 episodes. And then something like four years later, I ended up doing another episode. So there's been 15 audio episodes still available over at Apple Podcasts and wherever you get your uh your, your podcast from, you should be able to find those episodes. On those episodes, I used to just talk about my favorite cues from my favorite soundtracks. Uh, there wasn't much substance. I'm not an expert on music theory. I'm not a professional musician. And I don't really have the knowledge to sort of educate people on film scores. I've just been listening to film scores since I was four years old. <laughs> Way back when, in 1981, my mom got me a tape of Raiders of the Lost Ark by John Williams. She wouldn't let me see the movie, so she got me the next best thing, which was the soundtrack. And since then, I've been listening to film scores my entire life. Um, so I'm not an expert on that. It's just I'm a big fan of it, and I like to use this show as an outlet to learn more about it. So back then when I was doing the audio podcast, I would just play what I liked and that's it. There was nothing to it. Now with this new video format on YouTube, I can't be playing those clips. So things are going to be a little bit different for the longtime listeners. Um, this is going to be essentially what's going to happen is this. I want to do a monthly round table to discuss film scores with people who are fans, people who are experts. I want to do it every month. I want to talk about new film scores coming out, uh, new news about composers and what films they're doing. And I also want to do vinyl releases. Uh, recently during the pandemic, me and my wife got a new turntable and I've been collecting film score vinyls like crazy since. Um, I'm a novice at uh, vinyl collecting. Again, not educated in vinyl. I just like what I see and I like what I hear. So there's going to be a lot of vinyl talk as well. So that monthly show, cue the music, regular episodes, monthly round table discussions. It's going to be fun. I want to talk about news with people who know what they're talking about. I want to talk about vinyl uh, soundtracks with people who know what they're talking about. And I hope that you come along and learn with me and get a better insight into the world, into the world of film music. Now, you don't have to wait a month for full episodes. What's going to happen is, is that anytime a new vinyl shows up, I'm going to do a live unboxing on the YouTube channel here at cuethemusicpodcast.com and check them out. Uh, check them out with me. The first time I'm seeing it, you're going to see it. And I'm going to go over how it looks, how it feels, uh, maybe not how it sounds because I don't want to get dinged on YouTube but I definitely want to go over these records. Um, I also do want to do reviews of records, so that won't be part of the monthly thing. It'll be additional stuff. I also want to do um, something that I've been wanting to do since 2007. Uh, back in 2006, when I started a podcast called The Dharma Lars, um, it got big and it blew up and we kind of started meeting people who worked on the show through our podcast. And I started Cue the Music because I wanted to start talking to composers and people who are in the film score industry uh, because I'm a huge fan of film music. So the channel's also, in addition to the monthly show, hopefully going to have lots and lots and lots of composer interviews and musician interviews and maybe people who are involved with the creation of these, uh, these vinyl records that I've been collecting. 
So look forward to that. All of that's going to be on YouTube uh, for you to check out. But the monthly shows and the interviews will probably also go to the audio feed, the original audio feed that's been sitting there since 2007. So if you are subscribed to the audio feed, stay subscribed. You can listen to this on your car, at work, wherever you listen to your podcast, listen to it there. Uh, If there's an exclusive unboxing, something that's more visual, come over to the YouTube, check it out. We'll be waiting for you. So real quick, something's coming up. And I want to talk about it. I'm gonna have I have a bunch of I grabbed a bunch of records, um, but I think I'm only gonna talk about one collection that I've been growing. So, if you go to cuethemusicpodcast.com, go to the YouTube page. Down in the um, down on the page, you'll see that I've already created a playlist for unboxings. Now, I did an unboxing video for my Patreon page. And it was the gigantic Waxworks 18 LP Godzilla set. Like I'm big into Godzilla and I, I, I like all of the Toho monster movies. I did a podcast four years called uh, Kaiju pod. And this box set came out right at the right time when I started collecting. And since then <laughs> Mondo and Waxworks have been putting out records monthly um now i'm gonna go through a couple of the ones i got just to sort of show you this one i got at designer con it's uh it's the return of godzilla and it's for mondo now mondo has been nice because they've been keeping up with this stuff pretty pretty regularly like what mondo does is they'll do limited releases this is godzilla returns to godzilla 1985 with, since this is the audio format. <laughs> Got to destroy a, you know. So this is, uh, this is Godzilla versus Destroya. This is not Godzilla Returns. This is not Godzilla 1985. Uh, this is Godzilla versus Destroya. And um, Mondo released this uh, advanced copy at, at Designer Con, and they released it on their website. Um, what I've been enjoying is, um, is Mondo's been doing these pre-orders, so they'll do a pre-order and they'll limit, it, let it, limit them to 2000 And the reason why I bring this up is because it seems like they do the print run of 2000 Once that shipment goes, comes in, then they put it out for pre-order, which isn't really a pre-order because they have the stock already and it ships out within days. Uh, that's what happened with Space Amoeba. Uh, Space Amoeba came out recently. I posted some picture of this, pictures of this on the Instagram page at uh, instagram.com slash cue the music podcast. This is an unbelievable set. And what was great was I ordered this on Mondo and it showed up like within a week. So they're doing pretty great. I've been really digging Mondo's Toho releases. They're all limited to 2000 and they all show up pretty much right after you order them. What I like about this too is I've picked up like three of these Mondo discs and they've been shipped to me in the time it's been taking waxworks to to do their um a couple of their toho releases they released king kong escapes and war of the gargantuas both are amazing and i can't wait to get it but they're not doing limited runs which is good for you because you don't have to sit there and fight to get it but it just takes a little longer for them to find out how much they have um to print out like they, they do the pre-orders and then based on pre-orders, I believe decide what the run is going to be. Um, Mondo also made this, this return to Godzilla. This, I love this album. This might be my favorite as far as the music goes. Like this is my favorite um, soundtrack that, uh, that they've released through Mondo. It's really good, really easy listening. Um, This artwork by Henry Abrams. I love it. It's fantastic. Um, I might showcase this on the Instagram soon. And it has this cool feature of a pop-up Godzilla, a pop-up Godzilla attacking the city. So um, this is really good. I don't know if it's sold out or not, but if it's not, I highly recommend it. It's a really good record um, and uh, might be my favorite musically. And as much as I love Henry's art, 
artistically, nothing beats that Space Amoeba. That Space Amoeba set is amazing. And I want to say it's Blacklight. I don't have a Blacklight here. Uh, but if you have a Blacklight, it's an added bonus. So I'm excited about the next release. So in today, as of this recording, as of the release of this video, um, Mondo is selling their Rebirth of Mothra 1. And it's another amazing, amazing looking record. And what's going to happen is it should be here. They're going to ship it out in five to seven days. As soon as it shows up to my door, I'm making my bed. I'm cleaning up the room. I'm getting all gussied up. And I'm going to uh, do an unboxing of that live here at cuethemusicpodcast.com. So that'll only be on the YouTube feed. So all of you listening on the audio feed, come over, check out the page. And uh, I can't wait to talk about more vinyl, more soundtrack releases, more soundtrack news. And I definitely, definitely want to get some composer interviews going as soon as possible. Um, that's going to be it for today. Thanks for joining me. Uh, for everybody that has been waiting for five years for this episode to drop, thank you for your patience. I promise the next one will be a lot sooner. Until next time, I'll catch you on the flip side. <laughs>